and yet another belt and to continue on as a premier big cash ticket in boxing. Tim Bradley, give me something to look for early on. Something to look for early on is Manny Pacquiao. Matisse looking to land the right hand against Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, Manny Pacquiao is, can close the distance in the blink of an eye. He's the mid-distance king. And you see, yeah, when, and already you can see the configuration, the stature of each fighter is considerably different. It's in there. Tim, you were in there opposite Manny Pacquiao three times in yeah. your career. How does he look? And he's having a good round. Let's see, say off balance on that exchange. He is having a good round. Just placed the left hand to the body as well. And the toughness. He just don't fight for himself. He fights for his country. Which minute Pacquiao's... He's still a little bit busier than Matisse. Very. Matisse doesn't worry about getting to the scorecards much. He has scored 63 knockouts, knockdowns altogether in his career. 11. Matisse's being patient. There's the overhand right again. He's trying to land. Pacquiao throws. Doubles up the jab. Came in with a straight right. And Matisse trying his combinations off. But Matisse's firing back. Trying to find spots. There's a... There it is, checking that right hand was Pacquiao. Corner, your former trainer, does that give Matisse a tactical advantage? Oh, he has a powerful guy, Matisse, don't get me wrong. And he's controlling. He Four has hosted a fight of this magnitude. You have to go back to when Muhammad Ali was 33 years old and had a 15-round unanimous decision as the knockdown is scored here in round number three. Still has those punches from odd angles. Here he comes. The 45 type uppercut came right. Last time Matisse was down was three years ago against Victor Postal. It was TKO'd in the 10th round at his chance at a 140 pound belt then. Pacquiao trying to pin him in that corner. Around they come underneath. It's hard to gauge him. You see that? He moves in, punches from every angle. Manny Pacquiao and what we saw down in Australia against Horn. He's sharper because he's fighting with hook that time. Yep, setting your head up like it's T-ball and you're giving your opponent the chance. Same pattern as the last round from Matisse. Just fired off another one of those left uppercuts to Pacquiao. Trying to get around the guard now with that left hand is Pac-Man. Better work from the jab. Pacquiao comes in behind the double jab. Matisse goes to the belt line. Sensational finishes, you'll see. Matisse has stepped in with a right hand. He clipped him right there. A good shot by Pacquiao coming back with his straight left. Getting off the line. He got you. Well, it seems to me that for Pacquiao, the same type of thing applies. That Matisse's best shot is if he drops his left hand. I know this fight's not over, but I'm impressed with the speed of Manny Pacquiao. Still 39 years old. Backs him up, utilizing that jab. Comes with a left hand that gets around the guard by Pacquiao has been including by the way a sensational uppercut that scored a knockdown Matisse he can win this fight I believe that price of board against you not just the pain that you're taking there's a left hand to the body from Pacquiao and then comes with the left hand I want to see a little bit more body work from Pac he goes down and that left uppercut and creating an opportunity for there was a body shot from Pacquiao Matisse gets off his best combination Counter right. Having some moments in this round. Oh, that got to him. Oh. He takes a knee after Pacquiao lands. Stop standing in front. You're right in front of Pacquiao. He wants movement. He's not getting it. Round it on his terms to feel as though he's recharged and set. And he gets right back to work and does so with a combination. And there's that left uppercut again with that sneaky angle from Pac-Man. You know what we're seeing, fellas, right? This. The Pacquiao that undoubtedly... Hey, listen. The power's in there. He can show it. The frustration, the speed of Manny Pacquiao is giving him problems. Pacquiao again scoring with that left hand. Halfway through round number seven, who shows you glimpses of what he's always shown us and has scored two knockdowns already. Trying to find a home for that right hook. And then goes to the body with the right hand. 
Good jab from Matisse. Needs to double that up even more. Keep going with it. There's that uppercut again from Pacquiao as he splits the guard. Right double. hook, left hand combination. Pacquiao trying to get under that guard there and place the body shot moments ago as Matisse comes forward again. To complete the point from before. I think part of it is the underestimated horn, but also I think. One two from Pacquiao. Comes with the lead left hand. Mouth. Give me Pacquiao. Exactly. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see that fight. Well, there, there is a question. Pacquiao can or will fight in the United States. He has substantial debt to the IRS. Uppercut again, and he puts him down again. Pacquiao floors him a third time. Knockout victory at his return fight. How about it? Ladies and gentlemen, here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, referee Kenny Bayless calls a halt to the contest following the knockdown. The official time, two minutes, 43 seconds, round number seven. The winner by TKO victory. And now, once again, he is... The welterweight champion of the world, the fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny.